Summertime Render Episode 9 Based on the video uh, Shinpei, Su, and Clone Ushio Oh yeah, Ushio uh, So The clone and the real Ushio get along really well Sila pala ang nag-attempt na mag-save kay Shiori Shiori Kobayakawa eh, yung bata na ano but um, as the video was going on they actually went inside the video to to, to get a first hand ex virtual experience of it eventually uh, hindi nila na-save ang, ang totoong Shiori na materi nito and was replaced with a uh, uh, replaced with a shadow alright so Bob Dito kumala magsigmura ni Ni Su okay? he, After seeing uh, After seeing what the, what the shadows can do Final scene Biglang Hinawakan ng 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 shadow si Yori Si Shinpei They were still in that video So talagang nagtaka ang tatlo even um, even uh, even Ushio, ma, how's this possible? Tapos biglang nag-change the identity yung uh, itong shadow na to. It now looks like the master shadow yung batang babae na kunang ng isang mata. So by the time they uh, they woke up, Shinpei had this mark on his. Uh, on his right arm. Dun sa kasi hinawakan. Hey, we're gonna shed some light into this subject. Paid, uh, Bigo, mga uh, lifestyle. We're gonna do this. We're gonna break this episode down now. Critic some style. Face! Second half of the episode onwards. Medyo disturbing na yung, na, yung naging pacey ng episode. Kasi, dito na uh, pinapakita ng uh, kumbaga ng video kung uh, yung, yung rescue attempt nila ng dalawang usyo kay Shiori the, that eventually that eventually uh, that eventually went south right? nag-fail yung mission nila up to the final scene we're in uh, the master shadow herself ayun, nagpakita kay usyo so wow Pero in first half of the episode, medyo... Meron, meron... Medyo katawa-tawa ng konti. Kasi, um, this was... This was the first... The actual first meeting of the two Ushios. Bottom line, Vigo, mga lifestyle Do I have complaints about the pacing? No. Because the pacing was... Um, was light-hearted when it meant to be. It was disturbing. When it meant to be, well, when it uh, when it needed to be, pala. Pero uh, all throughout it was it was a really nice and slow one. Kasi uh, somehow we needed to totally grasp the um, the idea that there were two Ushios. Flow naman. Um, first gear shift here was when ayun nga dong. Uh, when the two Ushios finally met face to face yung yeah in the bathroom the bathroom sequence yeah, yeah that, that was really funny pero uh, for me it's a no brainer of a gear shift guys bakit? kasi I think this was the highlight of the entire backstory kasi I'm treating this as a backstory episode right? pero Ito yung pinaka-highlight ng episode na to. When the two Ushios first met. And you can actually tell them apart. Kasi yung isa nakobad eh. <laughs> Second gear shift. Was during... Um, that time when they, the, when they discovered the abandoned clinic of the, of, the Higisha, of the Hishigatas. Right? The old Hishigata clinic. Na sinasabi ng mga... Uh, may mga tao nakatira doon sa island na yon na haunted daw ito. Bakit ko tinawag na gearship? Well, you can say this, this is a reference point for the entire shadow thing. 
Kasi, sinabi rito ng, uh, what's it called this? Sinabi rito ng, ng Shadow Ushio that, sh that she felt she has been here before. So, with that being said, uh, you can easily deduce na probably the shadow sickness started right here in this clinic kaya siguro abandoned ngayon and now they say it's haunted final gear shift is of course the final scene it got me to thinking it right made me deep dive kaya ako tinawag na gear shift kasi got me to thinking na teka nasa rin sila ng video ano tinagawa na master shadow dito ganun ba ka OP ang kalabang ito in as much as it can actually invade a videotape recording it can well, it can actually follow another shadow anywhere even inside a videotape recording Boy, to. so these three gear shifts that I saw um, all of them will play a role down the line down the line in this anime plot wise um, mahabang backstory sequence eh pero malaman eh malaman siya but it's still a long backstory sequence kaya planchado ang plot bigo mga ka lifestyle I just could not discount the fact that it has a a really long backstory sequence Kung if this backstory sequence did not show its uh, its value in the episode malay baka, baka mainis ako eh just like what I did for episode 4 of Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1 right the Reiner the Reiner episode right talagang nabwisit ako nun well, I thought who would like to know your backstory, bitch? <laughs> Gumano na ako nun. Right. Who would like to know about your backstory, bitch? So, pero dito, iba eh. Iba yung, uh, iba yung dating ng backstory sequence sa akin eh. This actually explained uh, how it all went down. Kung paano namatay yung totoong Ushio and yung totoong Shiori and how uh, both of them were were replaced by by shadows of now opposing sides so but with an iron up plot like this you may you may realize that wow these shadows can think on their own they can actually take sides in a in a conflict so they're not exactly a symbiotic uh they're not exactly a symbiotic race May kanya-kanyang isip ang mga to. Exemplified by, of course, uh, the current Ushio. <clears throat> uh, it's a decently iron out plot. Okay? Pero, nah, okay na yun, okay na yung habang yun. It didn't take up, uh, it didn't take up the entire episode actually. Kasi, yung... Uh, the first few opening sequences and of course the final scene uh, current ano na yun, current continuity na current timeline and continuity so maganda na transition between uh, going into and out of that uh, out of that backstory maganda na yung transitioning seamless so pero decent pa rin yung ironing out ng plot so base flow and plot they all came together for this episode, folks. So, uh, bleh, Summertime Render, Episode 9. Now, Bakit? Taka kayo, no? Bakit mo ang top up lang? Bottom line, Medyo may kahabaan yung backstory sequence. They could have um, shortened it a little, kumbaga, and as much as to, um, to let, uh, to let it all sink in in the final scene na totoo'y nangyari nyo na, uh, 
uh, from out of the blue biglang lumitaw ang master shadow at at, uh, at pagbantaan si Shinpei medyo ano eh hindi ko masyadong uh, ninamnam yun eh y yun ang ano eh it could have been the highlight of the episode because the master shadow herself is now threatening the main protag so wow Uh, she feels threatened now by 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 Shinpei's presence. Pero hindi inemphasize yun eh, ang ganda. Uh, but overall, it was still a good episode. Okay. I was um, properly enlightened as to how uh, on how uh, the real Ushio and Shiori died. At least na ipakita ng maayos yun. So still one to ma. Pero, we, we still got a long way to go, guys. Summertime Render is a 25-episode run. Kaya, marami pa pwede mangyari. And we're only in episode 9. Malapit na magtapos ang Spring 2022, hindi pa tapos ang anime na to. So, marami pa pwede mangyari. But, in spite of that, I still have those, um, those Higurashi feels. Alright? I, I, I just couldn't stop comparing this anime to... to Uh, to, the, to at least the Higurashi reboot eh. yung, yung the disturbing pacing of course uh, the ironed out plots bihira lang, mag, bihira lang gumamit ng clean plot kasi yung Higurashi nun whether it be the original or the um, or the reboot pero th those plots were well ironed out right this one was, wasn't as well ironed out as any episode of the Higurashi reboot But I had those same feels. So, talaga disturbing siya. Talaga ng papa ganon ka sa bawat ano eh, sa bawat sa bawat twist. Ha? Paano na karating yan yan? Ha? What? What the fuck? <laughs> you you get those WTF feels basically. Kaya it still deserves the one thumb up from me. So again, summertime render episode 9 First time na nangyari ito. But hey, don't fret. It's just it's just one episode. We might we might get another uh, They might give us another uh, uh what you call this? They might give us another two thumbs up worthy of an episode. So, Bigo, mga lifestyle. Especially Bigo. Wait for my next upload regarding this anime. Just keep those um yeah. Just keep on dropping those gifts and you will be and you will be um and you will unlock those uh those links to to my raw reviews and for those of you who are still stuck with the chd ano ba gumaganda ng istorya ng anime na to don't you want to get those higurashi feels while i'm reviewing this in the raw eh alam mo gagawa eh panorin panorin lang kayo mag chill chill dyan Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.